Hi guys, and uh, welcome back. Uh, where we left off... Uh, let's have a quick recap. Okay, yeah, we've got that second city. Um, okay, I've got a worker on there now, trying to, to get the horse. Um, we're going to need... Uh, mining and... Uh, you know, the process of revealing bronze, so that we can... Put something on this jungle tile where the sugar is before we get that resource. I guess at a later date it will be the same for these pigs and the rice down here. So we're going to maybe go with off to calendar, maybe have a look at kind of crafting, mining, that kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to be able to develop these cattle or do much with them for a little while because they're right in the path of the flood of kind of barbarians that we're, we've been getting from the north from. Myrian, the city up there, size 7, that's a pretty decent sized city, bigger than mine, um, but we're doing okay, um, ah yeah, the scout, oh right, we'd met another civilization, haven't we, um, and I just wanted to go and look out further to the west with this guy, just to try and uh, see where they were, so I've got an idea of how far and how quickly I need to expand in this direction. So very soon I'm going to need to get another city here, I, th I feel, just to push my borders a bit, give me space to grow. Um, so that's the current state, I'm building a worker. Which sort of makes sense. I think we'll just end turn. Oh, I just saw that lizard guy. He's he's coming down to, to where my worker is, I think, at the moment. Let me just check. Okay, well, the horse are done. I've only one warrior in there, and he's not the strongest. So that lizard man is likely to go there on his turn. I have to check. I think if I can, I'm going to try and get this worker all the way back into my capital. And um, let's just see. Okay, good. You went the other way. Um, we did a worker. It's much more productive now. Um, I'm just going to do. I'm going to do one more warrior. him next turn. Now then, is he going to be able to make it? Yeah, he can. Okay, he can go there. Alright, so I'll get the two workers together. Now then. Okay, he's still there. So this was the guy we saw. Decius. For now. He's got a lot of experience, that scout. He's seen some action. 60% strength. Hmm. There might be trouble ahead for our scout. <laughs> we'll have to go and see what happens. So he disappeared into the gloom, so let's go and follow him, basically. Um, Lizardman, what are you doing? Two, two guys, we're going to link them together, just easier to deal with. I'm going to try and build a road first, good. And turn. Another lizard. Those lizards, they're, they're kind of cunning this time around. I'm going to just boost our science a bit. I think Elder Council for the capital. Now they can do that farm as it was irrigated. So where did he go? Whoa. I mean, I guess he's quite strong. 60% on a hill. Yeah. He might be strong through. I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow him. Or he might be just trying to lose me. <laughs> well, we're going to have a look down here anyway. So that's that warrior that we were going to put over here. Mm, uh, uh, yeah, archery might be nice. 
I mean, at early stages, I, you know, I like two defensive units per city. Um, you know, preferably an archer and something else. Um, so I'll see. We've nearly got a calendar. And so we'll just see how the research table kind of unfolds and what looks like good options to follow after that. This, I need to get this city as well. Um, two warriors. See, one of those... I might build a couple of warriors next. Um, I've got some guys with experience. I might send one of those experienced ones down for the founding of this new city. So maybe a couple of warriors and a settler for the production. I just wanted to get a bit of science in there. Yeah, look, I'm kind of like stuck down here. I don't think my scouts are going to get anywhere. Oh, is he trying to lure them out? Are you a tricky guy? Um, okay, well, we're going to let him play with the barbarians. I'm going to go around. I want to explore like, exactly where he came from and what's in that direction. So we've got our calendar. Um, hmm. Do I want to change? We've got God King, which gives us, you know, a huge boost in our capital for production gold. So that's really good for early stages. The maintenance cost is a bit of a problem, and it's a high upkeep. Um, eventually, we'll have to change that nationhood. Mm. Yeah, it's always what to do with the uh, culture and what religion and stuff like that. Tribalism. Uh, I like apprenticeship. I usually get that at some point. Just plus the, the experience points it gives to the units when you build them. Agrarianism. Plus one health. Plus one farm. Um, I don't need to boost my growth right yet. Uh, health isn't an issue. And production I want to keep. So not yet. Not quite big enough yet. But that's that's a nice step at some point. But not for now I don't think. So we were talking about crafting, I think, weren't we? Um, 32 is still a bit long there. 39 is still a bit long for hunting, but I'd, I would love to get that. Um, yeah. Festival's good. Well, there's the education that will give me apprenticeship. Um, I think we'll go with crafting. It will enable me to to build some beer as well, which could be useful for keeping people happy. So the second warrior is there. The palisade should be in a couple of turns. Lisbon, Lisbon, what are you going to do? So we're irrigating farms. So we've got wheat now, which gives me a plus one health. So I'm quite happy with all that. Horses. So we might be looking at just building some roads. I think what I'll do is I'm going to bring the workers down here and just start to connect up these resources. And maybe a road there. Um, just for preparation for getting this city or this village uh, going. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> They're kind of quite tricksy, the lizards in this game. I quite like it. Oh, we're unhappy now. Size 6. Hmm. I've got any... Well, the sugar would help with that unhappiness. Uh, cows don't. I even build roads without. Yeah, I can build roads, I just can't build buildings. Okay, so we're going to keep going. All oh, these things as well die, that's nice, that gives happiness. Uh, incense, th that gives happiness if I have a pagan temple and when it needs philosophy. Um, hmm. 
so flat. <laughs> it's really flat for, for someone like me who needs uh, hills. Okay, well that's a floodplain. That's a desert. That's another floodplain. They're just planes. Um. Well, could do the farm on. I mean, if I was coming this far over, maybe where my scout is now would be a city choice for me. Um, it would give me the incense once I'd done philosophy, and I'd get access to the dive for the happiness boost within these tiles here. The pig would be a bit out of reach, but that's okay, I'm going to have pig over here anyway from this one. Um, nicely defensive, there's basically a river between me and any likely enemy empire that is likely over here somewhere. So yeah, that could be a good spot, we'd have to get rid of this city. <coughs> Warriors, archers, so you know, that would be a way on. I could either throw a whole bunch of warriors at it and wear it down, sacrifice a lot of my guys, or look to get um, maybe some catapults. So we'll see. We'll see where we go. Oh, let me just keep an eye on my scouts. Okay, well, we got rid of. Uh, there's nothing else coming down. No lizard men. Okay, we've done our palisade. I think, I mean it's suggesting that, but as these tiles aren't particularly useful, we've basically got what this city was for, which was the horse, yeah? Uh, this one we're not going to be able to do anything about for a little while, so I don't really see a point in pushing my borders specifically to kind of grab things. So I'm going to go with the science again, get another world to cancel. I'm try and become smart people now, I'm going to join everything up and start building roads. There. Okay. I'm trying to find out where you came from. Uh, my scout is going to use his advanced tracking skills. Oh, marvel, that's nice. Oh, that looks great as well. No defensive river on one side and the hill. I think... I can't remember the percentage exactly. If you attack across a river, the unit on the other side of the river, like if you're just on a flat area, it's like a base. 15% bonus or something like that you know so if you've got like a, a hill with a 25% bonus plus the 15% bonus or whatever that is you know it's a big old chunk um, you know that any attacking unit is, is going to suffer from so those are really good spots yeah I just missed these resources here but marble would be great there's a couple of like wonders that the the build time is reduced by about 50% if you've got access to marble. Uh, okay, we're going to go up on the hill. Have a look. So we've got a road there. I'm going to come down here for the next road. <coughs> Just need to have a look north. All quiet on the barbarian frontier. They're unhappy. Hmm. It's not a big deal yet, it's just annoying, it just means... Ooh, hello. Orthus the Barbarian King has entered the lands. This powerful hero is responsible for the deaths of more, more empires than anyone in creation. But the unit that defeats Orthus gains his powerful axe. Very cool, I love that picture. Now then, where are you? Well, for happiness I can understand, but we're interested in expanding, so I'm going with warriors. So Orthus is built somewhere up here, somewhere far, far, far away. Okay, so not near me, uh, which is good. <laughs> I'm happy with that. So we've got a lizard spawning point here. Oh, pigs right there. So this, yeah, yeah, I'm loving this. A floodplain there. A floodplain there. It's a nice fertile farmland there. Pigs for food there marble there so this again this looking west I mean it's quite far across 
a lot of it depends on kind of who's going to be closer and uh, where the next empire is. So this looks like the southern border here to me. I might just come down and check out there. Let's keep going. Uh, one. Okay, there's a little bit of stuff here. Uh, down the road. Okay, then into the pigs. Just fingers crossed, nothing nasty comes. Uh, a bit risky. I mean, this guy's not strong enough to take on a. Uh, do one more. I, I think I'll get him. I'll get him going. He's not strong enough to take on a, a Lizman by himself. Okay, so that's that road done. Let's have a look. So it's a nice, interesting bay, but no resources. Um, I'm going to bother going on there. I don't think so. I want to have a look up here. I just saw somebody there. So it looks like our actual nearest civilization isn't the one that... Uh, oops. Isn't the one we saw. So a road. Go on then, you. Go on then. Oh yeah, and we wanted to take... <clears throat> so we're going to take him. It's it's kind of quiet enough down this direction that you know, and, and they they have made quite a few big stacks from time to time. That barbarian city up there. So we're gonna keep our strongest defensive unit in there. See, look, here's a border. Don't know who it is yet. Uh, and then we want to set that. And then you can stay there. Ooh. Okay, so they're they're a bit scary. Put them up on there. That's it. I'm going to try and link up those resources in preparation for the city coming down. Um, Dolphalio. Now then, if I remember, uh, so I, I have, unlike the Hippus, I had, I played these guys a few times myself. They've got quite a nasty unit. Not their starting one, but I think one of their next upgrades is it does fire damage or something like that. It's, it can be pretty overwhelming. So, if I am going to go and try and get a city here, I'm going to need to do really fast expansion to get there, and I'm going to have to just defend it like I might have to pull my best defensive units from the capital to that city. Um, I mean, it's a tricky, tricky one. Tricky one. I'm gonna go north, I think, around here. I just wanna s see if I can see. Is this their capital, maybe? Maybe they've only got the one city. Um, I just wanna explore that boundary of theirs. Now then, we're gonna keep those guys there. I'm gonna try and link up some resources. I hope I'm not being leaving these guys in danger too much. Uh, let's defend that one. I defend that one. Do a bit of exploration. Difficult to say if this is their first or second city. So we've got our crafting, so that's quite useful, the brewing house. That's a way to get happiness. I think it's quite expensive to build, but um, that could be one option. Festival, so then it was this one. This is what I need. I need mining because, especially now we've found this other civilization. Oh, yeah, that might not be a good idea because there's a spawning thing there that's shaded. 
and the lizard this desert so that would slow it down yeah luckily that's desert and not plains otherwise it could just zoom straight through I think it would have to stop on the desert a bit risky I, I am taking a bit of a risk here having this guy so uh, exposed like that let's have a look okay this looks like an edge mm. these deserts over here might be okay so we did the elder council um, size 2 so I don't really want it to yeah, if I build a central worker that will stop it growing I want to encourage it to grow um, I'm gonna pretend that it's organizing the wheat farm, so I'll build a granary. Um, we're gonna push our luck here and get this road in there. He's gonna come down to the northern border. So it looks to me like this is their starting city. They don't have a second city yet, which means they'll be uh, they will have one soon. Oh, we've got barbarian state somewhere. Okay, let's get him up here. The settlers coming. Ah, here they come. Ah, this is the thing though, isn't it? That first warrior is just, you know, he's so good at dealing with these guys now. And they will come, like, constantly until I deal with this city completely. You know, and at the moment they're just base warriors. But at some point they'll start getting experience, and um, I'll have to watch out for that. Okay, so let's end turn. I'm just going to let them hang out for a bit. I'm going to try and come round south now, see if I can explore. As far south as I can. Okay, so they've just gone for God King now. He comes. I mean, if that had been farmed, they would probably end up coming down through through this way and just kind of trash it every now and then. So I'll be constantly rebuilding. Which would be a bit of a waste. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go down through there. Here we go. Experience for my guy. <clears throat> really not worried at all. There's there's nothing. City at the moment. But with the promotions he's got, I mean, he may even be doing all this himself. He may not even get a scratch, so. Now we've done a settler. Oh, here we go, 20 turns. Um, well. Could be worth it. So here's the settler. Good, good, good. Oh, Walthus has been killed. So that dreadful barbarian unit didn't hang around long. So somebody's very powerful up there to be able to take him out like that. So we're going to move, get our third city in. Hmm. Actually, it's a lot of. I really feel this this kind of pressure to push. I mean, that's quite a nice nice third city it, it works well this is a little far over and actually I won't be able to do it without there so I might even have to go all over there now which is just ridiculous but that's so defensive oh I might have to change from God King because the the penalty would be huge well we'll, mm, we'll see We'll go things up here, just regents, not so interesting, some sugar, I mean hopefully the mining will reveal some copper and that might be key in sighting another city, yeah, 
we're sort of running out of uh, the visible resources that we can see so far with our technology. So getting the mining would be very nice. So they can ah. stay there again. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go up on that hill. Get him there. Get him there. Ah. Next turn we'll be able to get that city. Have a look at my civics, maybe. I'm losing two gold per turn with my 100% science rate. So let's go. What's the name of this third one? Radona. 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 Okay. Um, Palisade. Oh, that's a floodplain. Fresh water. I can get a farm in right away. Okay. Well, that gives them something to do. Happy with that. Um... Oh, no, that's annoying. Okay, let's go back up there for now. Uh, I can see something there. Oh, that's the scout. And I was expecting his civilization to be the one over here, but it, Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, they're definitely going to a city. Hopefully that big stack of barbarians is doing the same. So he's getting... Yeah, I mean, I guess if I have a city here, then I'm going to get those as well. Um, which should be fine, because that will be stopping his units getting experience. The odd skeleton isn't a big deal, but the big stacks, they can give you nice experience and build some powerful units. Um... Not going to explore the dungeon. So we've got a grand race, so he's starting to grow nice. Um, we're not going to get incense for a while. I still want to grow, so I think maybe I'll do a, a monument as it's suggesting that will just give it time to grow. Okay, so the skeleton's coming from there. I, I think looking at the way this coastline shaped here, it looks to me like this is the edge. So they're actually pretty close. I can see that being a problem. Mining, fantastic. Ooh, archery. So it's actually, I'm going to need to research bronze working so I can remove that jungle um, to be able to get the sugar. So we might leave that for a while. Hunting's only 22. I guess... I guess we're looking at this now, aren't we? I'll be able to do the elephants, it says. I'm not sure about that, but... Oh, I've got a religion. Time. Time to get our horses going. Okay. Coming along. So that should deal with the unhappiness when that's done. Ah, look, copper. Oh, yeah. I need to have a look around a bit more. Do we have any more? Not there. So nice to have some around here, back on this hill or something. Not there. Oh, okay. Some up there. Okay, so that's the nearest one to me. Which isn't far off. Hmm. 
that's making that actually look like my best second option. I won't be able to get it directly, but if my you know if my borders have expanded across in this direction enough, they will join up eventually, and then I'll get access to it just through the cultural cohesion kind of thing. Um, so that looks like an option. And to get that city, I'm gonna have to take this one out. So I think what that means is, once we've got our horseback riding, I'm going to start producing somewhere. Start producing a lot of of units, horse units, and we're going to try and take that barbarian city out, so I can build a fourth city on this hill and to protect that resource there. And get access to it actually. This one will wait. This is quite far off. The fact this is their capital is worrying me a bit. Mm. Well, we'll see how we go. Okay, that's a peninsula. We'll go back. Uh, yep, yeah, let's get a mine in there just for some production boost. I mean, I could build a mine on that. I don't know how long it would last. Yeah, north. And in there, we we'll have access. We've got some flood, got a flood plane. We've got two flood planes. These are quite fertile here. And another flood plane there, actually. So, that wouldn't be terrible. Some sheep, which is a new resource. I mean, it helps as well. I mean, this this would be great. Somewhere around here, and that would be a good spot. It would have all that. That's worth getting marble as well. And it would tie up nicely with that. So I can see we could end up going there, maybe there, maybe there as a, a potential sighting for our next expansions so we've got some possibilities Are we gonna get a promotion this time yeah, that's fine that's kind of too good uh, I'm gonna try and can I sneak through there looks like it's a C tile yeah no I can't okay yeah this is very much his capital Mm hmm. Take the road, connect them up. Palisade is coming on. It's going to take a while to build that, uh, that brewing house. Okay, so there's a couple of. So I'm more advanced than Herb quite a long way. This guy, I don't know where he is. This is the one we've met, the first one. Maybe north of me. We shall see. I was just curious about what's down here. So we might be coming up to, to ending this session. Uh, unhappiness should be dealt with soon once the brewing house is done we've got our third city in we've talked about how to get that copper uh, which is basically through maybe getting there so we've got a fourth city scoped out potentially fifth and sixth just as a for building the overall kind of empire empire footprint um, give me some space to expand and get access to some resources so it's looking good so thank you very much guys uh, i will catch you next time bye for now